wolves are kind of hard to, to control in that uh, one, their populations are very cyclical. Uh, you may not see any for a year or two, and within a couple years after that, they may be overrunning the place. Uh, they, their population tends to go in about a four year cycle. What do you do about voles? Well, ground cover management is probably the best thing. That is, uh, they'll move in from, from areas outside, whether it's a, a fence row or, or ditch bank or whatever. But if you can have close mode sod uh, around the planting as well as within the planting, you expose the voles to predators. And so they tend to avoid those areas. So. <clears throat> ground cover management is probably one of the most important things we can do. Beyond that, uh, we can uh, we can trap them. Uh, another thing that we can do is use what we call a concentration station. If we find out that we've got bull problems and we need to treat for them, we'll put down a, a board or a shingle or something flat on the ground, it's generally sometime in August, just leave it there for uh, a couple months, if you've got an active bull population, when you come back in after that couple month period has passed, lift up that board, you may see exposed active tunneling underneath that board. And, and that's evidence of the, the uh, prairie bull or the meadow bull. If you see that tunneling and you want to use mouse bait, and there are some commercial baits out there, uh, then you you would want to put it in those tunnels underneath that board and that way uh, you can come back after a couple of weeks lift the board up again and see whether the bait has been consumed uh, if it has you still have an active population and you could reapply some bait if there are if there's bait still left and evidently you've controlled the holes in that area now the time you want to do that i mentioned putting this the boards down in august don't bother to put the baits down until well up into uh, late fall, like in, in November or later, because they're not gonna feed on the bait if there's other food sources more available to them. And they can actually develop a bait shyness if we start to introduce the uh, bait too early. But that way we can monitor the presence of them and uh, we can put down our, our baits in a safe area. If you put it under a board, and weight that board with a rock or whatever, then you're kind of excluding like cats and dogs and other things that might actually get into that bait if you didn't do that.